greater than Gatsby family. Today we're here to bring you a very short tutorial on dodging and burning. And the reason why? Well, you asked for it, we're delivering. Now let me hand you off to Miss Sandra Bianco. Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and today I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to dodge and burn. So I'm going to be working in the Portrait Retouch collection and I'm just going to be using the Burn the Shadows and the Dodge the Highlights actions in here. So uh, the very first thing I like to do is run Burn the Shadows. I like to do my shadows before my highlights. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And then on the little pop-up screen, it tells you to stay at around 5%. Just for um, this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and bring, I brought my opacity up to 10% just so you can really see the effects of it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is go around the smile lines or anything that I want to accentuate a little bit more. So you'll see here in a minute that this is really going to bring out her expression and her face just a little bit more. And I may reduce my opacity at the end. So I'm just going around her smile lines and then I will take this and go around a little bit of a finer line to define the jawline. And this is where I'm going to take my opacity down a bit here. And I'm just going to go around her chin and then I will take this and go around the hairline a bit and then we're going to just work our way down into the image and anywhere there's basically like a crease this is her little dimple she's got anywhere there's a crease I'd like to just give that a little bit more definition there and then I'm going to go ahead and we can also do this a bit on her brows and I know I haven't removed those little fine hairs yet, and I need, still need to do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and run this on her lashes a bit. And then just let me show you, see how much more definition and expression that gave her. It just really brings out those details. And then I would also go ahead and run a little bit of this on the tree, I'm going to go ahead and take my exposure up again, but on the tree and the ladder, you can go ahead and just, you know, define all the darks in there. You can just bring those out a bit more and just give that a little bit more definition. And I was being kind of sloppy with that one, but you can kind of see it just brings out the tree a bit more. And another trick I'd like to show is if you feel like, like right here, I feel like maybe I ran a little bit too much right there. So I could just add a layer mask and go and grab my black brush and easily just take that off. So that's another trick there on these actions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the Dodge, the highlights now. And again, you'll get the pop-up boxes telling you exactly what to do. And you wanna make sure you're on your mid-tones around three to 5%. I'm gonna stay at eight just for the demonstration purposes. And I'm just gonna start giving her a little bit of highlight where I want it. So I like to go on the forehead a bit and then I like to reduce my brush and go along the brow line a little bit and you can even dodge the, her eyes inside. I, I like the color of them now so I'm not going to touch that but I do like to go into the corners of the eyes and then I'll put a little bit on the chin and right uh, above her lip and we'll go down so anywhere there's a natural highlight like right in here then I like to get my brush a little bit bigger here and go down the arm a bit and I also love to run this in the hair so you could just you can get your brush and go you know very very finely into each of the the little hairs which I do usually do that at first and then I'll like get my brush bigger and kind of go over all of it just a little bit because it gives it a nice little shine. So you can see there that just gave her a little bit of extra glow and you could take your opacity down here. And again, I would do this on 
the ladder and the tree just giving that a little bit more pop and you could do this also on the highlights in here just to give them a little bit more pop as well so let's just take a screenshot real quick and I'll show you so that's before we did any of the dodging and burning and then that's after so you can see that makes quite a big difference and I always do my dodging and burning um, especially on little girls a little bit more subtle than I would on an adult and you'll see those videos coming soon thanks guys and we will talk to you soon bye now